Okay, let's look at the result of our regression of y on x1 in our noisy proxy. And ah, let's compare it to the short regression. Um, so that was a short regression. We had a bias of around 0.5. And now if we add this noisy proxy, the bias goes down. But we still have a substantial bias. So um, the true cause of effect beta 1 is 1. Here we estimate 1.33. So adding this noisy proxy helps to reduce the bias, but it doesn't make the bias go away. Now let's think what happens if the standard deviation in the noise of our proxy goes down. First we had 1, let's reduce it to 0 0.1. So our proxy is less noisy because this part here basically has a lower weight. So if it varies less with a lower standard deviation, then the proxy is essentially more closely correlated to x2. Um, we can also show this. So originally with the uh, standard deviation of 1, the correlation between the proxy and x2 is equal to 0 0.7. Now if I reduce the standard deviation of the noise in our proxy, then the correlation between um, x2 and the proxy um, increases to 0.99. Now the question is, what will happen now with the bias when we again run this estimation? What will happen with the bias for our estimator for beta 1? Make a guess.